Good morning guys, happy Monday. And it's Monday the 1st of February. I cannot believe that we're in for February already. That's like a 12th of the way to Christmas. It's nearly Christmas! Okay, it's not nearly Christmas. It's kind of almost nearly Christmas. Won't let this moment pass us by. I've just been editing yesterday's vlog and Jen started vlogging on her camera while she was out and about in the car and in no fewer than three occasions if you haven't seen it her phone fell off the dashboard that she'd carefully bounced it on and I don't know, no wonder her phone doesn't work What I don't understand Jen is we have a special little device we bought to attach it to the windscreen Use it! Don't balance it precariously, secure it to the window! 30 minutes ago it was almost perfectly still outside. Now it's like a hurricane's blustering through. This tree here, the big green one at the back, practically doubling over at times, there's just gusts of wind. And the fence that I put up about a couple of years ago, that's almost getting blown down. Next door's fence is being blown down. And one of the panels that belongs to next door has been blown in. The problem is, you see this bit of roof overhang here, it means it's physically impossible to put a new panel in. So if that panel goes, she has to take the front of her roof off in order to replace it. Turns out with some guys at work at the moment, which means I gotta wait until she gets back before I can have any dinner and I am starving, famished. My stomach is eating itself. So I might have to have something, a bit of a snack before she gets back. Otherwise I'll just die. It's what, like six o'clock? Oh no, it's 20 to eight. Oh crap, time flew by. She said that she's gonna be out until at least eight o'clock and then presumably by the time she gets back, I don't think I can wait that long, and then I'm gonna have to cook dinner when she gets in. I don't think we've got anything, so we're gonna have to go out. I'm just gonna have some breakfast, I think. Shep normally spends a lot of his time around this window here, kind of lying on the floor, just staring out, hoping to be outside, I guess. Um, but because of all this crap in the way, he's not been able to get through. So he spent the entire day just lying here, staring where he'd normally be allowed to go. I kind of feel a bit sorry for him because he spends most of the time in the house and he's just not been able to do what he likes to do and that is stare out windows. Sorry Sheppy. It'll be clear soon, a couple of days. Um, once I can start painting these walls and stuff he'll be able to go back in. But once I start painting the walls he's going to have to go upstairs again. He's not going to be allowed downstairs at all. I have to shut him out. He just sort of sits at the door when we have shut it on him. Just waiting to come back in and we don't let him. And then when we do let him outside, I have to drag him by the collar, make sure he doesn't touch any of the bloody paintwork. Saying that Jen should be back about eight o'clock or leaving Lester to come home about eight o'clock. The thing is, she sees times a bit like she sees speed limits. You know, a recommendation. It's, it's not legal. Oh wait, Jen, speed limits are legal. I would like you guys to place your best down below what time you think she's gonna get back. So it's currently about quarter to eight, and she said she should be done about eight o'clock, but half an hour to get back. So the very earliest we expect to see her is probably about half eight. I'm thinking about half nine at the earliest. Place your bet, place your bet, and hopefully I'll remember to tell you when she gets back. Jen's finally home. Say hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. What time do you get back, 10 to nine? Yeah. Because I thought she was finishing at eight. It turns out, no, she wasn't finishing at eight. What time are you supposed to finish at 7? Seven? 7. She's supposed to finish at 7, which means she's actually a hell of a lot later than expected. But not actually that late. Yeah, not too late. You You're only 20 minutes later than I expected. Yeah. But still, a lot later than you were supposed to be. A lot later than I expected. I was just wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're hungry, we're going to have something to eat, um, and we're deciding what we should have. But because our fridge has been playing up, I don't know if you guys remember I was saying that there's something not working in it, I won't get into it in too much detail. Um, but the consequence is, this is what happens to our fruit and veg in the crisper drawer, is it gets a little too crispy. Look at this. So you might not really notice much wrong with these carrots, but as a matter of fact, they're frozen. Solid, as if they've been in the freezer. Look at this. Carrots should not make this noise when dropped onto a side. So we're not even going to be able to cut those, let alone cook them. What else have we got or not, guys? I'm assuming everything else in there is ruined. Oh no. Yep, frozen kale. Kale is solid. Okay. Well, what about the meat? Is the meat. The project's still nice and firm. You mean frozen? <laughs> okay, right. So they're all dead. What about the meat? How's the meat doing? Now, anything that's not in the crisper drawers tends to not be frozen, but it's too warm that it goes off a lot quicker than it should do. It's not frozen. Also, it's not frozen, so that's good. 
What's the date on it? 2nd of Feb. So Which tomorrow. Is tomorrow. Okay, so the date is tomorrow on this fruit, on this uh, chicken. My eyes are right state today. I'm sorry. Don't be offended. Official guys, we don't have anything to eat in the house for dinner. Stupid fridge. So we really need to defrost this fridge to get it working again. So anything that's in there is just literally gonna get ruined. This is not the first time this has happened. Or the second, or the third. In fact, I've lost count on how many times this damn fridge is broken. It works too much in one place and not enough in the rest. So it's not really efficient, not really useful to damn fridge, is it? I seem to have spent most of the night trying to figure out this whole Snapchat malarkey. I think I finally got my head around it um, after some very good help. I think I understand what it's about, why it works, how it works, and it makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to leave my Snapchat username maybe about here. If any of you guys have got Snapchat and you want to join in on the fun, I'm sick of that, guys, so I will see you tomorrow. I've got some pretty pictures of me in the, but in my handbag. Oops. And I get to go try the outfit on. Like, can't wait.